Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So uh, I'm doing this tutorial today to show you uh, how you can get rid of the uh, sticky chain links that I have here on my uh, Bianchi road bike. And I'm gonna get into it right now. So over the uh, boring winter season here, I cleaned the chain. I cleaned the chain here and guess what? I forgot to oil it. And uh, as a domino effect, guess what? I have a sticky chain link right here. And I just wanna show you over here quickly what, what is it that you're gonna need to do this. So over here, I'm gonna just take you to, uh, I've got my uh, uh, IK uh, sprayer. And what I have done inside here, I put some uh, hot water and a little bit of soap in there, which I will uh, put onto the chain to loosen it up. You have some uh, oil here, uh, oil, just so that uh, I will put it right away before I get a chance to properly scrub my chain. And over here, I got my gloves. You want to make sure you, you want to use the gloves when you do this because your fingers are going to get quite messy. So that's one of the things that I would recommend there. Okay, now let's get into it and show you how I get rid of uh, a sticky chain, sticky chain links in a matter of minutes. So here we go. My sprayer is ready to rock and roll. I, by the way, I have all the links in the description on Amazon where you can purchase this and I'm gonna put them in the description just so you know. Here we go. Now keep in mind, uh, keep in mind what I had done over here. You always wanna put some uh, toilet paper here. You don't want this stuff here to uh, drip uh, on, the, on the floor. It will get quite messy. So keep that in mind. Uh, okay, now let's move this aside here a little bit and try to work this chain. Now there's two ways how you can do this. You can do this like this way, you can do this way. I'm gonna show you the best way how I get it done. And this is what I like to do. Now, now if, you, if you're noticing over here, there's a quite a few of them that are, that are sticky. It's not just uh, one. There's uh, this one here, there's that one, and maybe this one here. So the reason why I don't like doing, I don't like going this way is because, is because I wanna make sure that I go through all of them. So this is what I'm talking about. You see what you're gonna do? Now, a lot of videos out there are telling you uh, this is caused by uh, damaged, someone damaged the chain, whatnot. I would not agree with them. Uh, if you really look what has happened, I, I left this bike dry overnight without lubing it. And if you look at my other video, which I'm going to include, I got this problem from, from not lubricating the chain. So that will be the main cause why you get sticky chain. And I'm going to just explain it to you over here what, what I'm talking about. Now look here, after a minute, now this is the one that's tricky here. Okay. Now spring is around the corner here in Canada. So I want to start riding the, uh, riding the bike. And this is why I want my chain to go to be properly fit and 100% ready to go. So again, uh, you also want to use this technique over here that uh, some of them are recommending out there like this. Hopefully you can see in the video what I'm doing there. Like this, I, I, wanna, I don't wanna watch, press this way because I want the camera to see what I'm doing. But the best thing that I like to do over here is this. And then once you have it halfway through, I like to come back over here and just, just for temporarily, there's no permanency. Just give it a little bit over there, see? See, I have a few drops over there already. You see there's a drop. Okay, again, we're gonna just go again. Very important that you use your gloves. And see what I'm talking about here. It's it's much easier. You see how it was before? How I would I would be able to get it to look sticky on camera, but now I can't. I can't get that uh, look like to, to go like this. So it will just fl go f flat right after. So this is basically the, the best workout. Now keep in mind, uh, the best way how you can uh, check over your work will be just to go around like this for a circle. And this is it. And then you're gonna go fill, fill the chain all around until you're 100% confident that you don't even have one uh, sticky leak in there. 
that's what I like to do because you don't wanna you don't wanna uh, do this and then put all that work and then to find out that one over here will, is sticky. So get that thing going, lubricate the chain, and then what I like to do, I like to uh, put the bike on a stand and then go for a couple of circles just to go over there and make sure that everything is good to go again. So like I said, always go like this. And, and if you look over here, when I, when I came, I couldn't spin my chain through the, uh, what do you call this, the sprockets, the pulleys. I couldn't get them to go around. But now without any issues, I can easily get the chain to go, to go around, which is very nice. And that's pretty much that. I hope you found this useful. Like, subscribe, and take care. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.